The only engine is a 1.5 liter B15 D2, 105, 106 horsepower, well known from Nexia and Gentra. Without soot and oil, which is rare these days. Cast iron block, distributed injection, no hydraulic compensators or phase shifters, AI-92 is acceptable. The timing chain lives 150 to 200,000 kilometers. The front crankshaft oil seal and valve cover leak when the crankcase ventilation system is clogged. Floating speed is usually caused by dirty throttle. No other weak points have been identified. The promised resource of 350,000 kilometers is definitely underestimated, if handled well, the engine is capable of 500 plus. Overhaul is provided and relatively simple. The mechanical 5-speed gearbox D16 is reliable and durable. Two-thirds of the cobalts were sold with it. It is considered maintenance-free, but changing the oil every 60 to 80,000 kilometers is very desirable and will certainly slow down wear. The clutch assembly can withstand 100,000 kilometers. There are a number of questions about the 6-speed automatic 6T30. It is prone to overheating, you can install an additional radiator, the wavy spring brakes, and the bushings wear out quickly. By the time Cobalt was released, however, the unit had been modernized and became better. It is designed for a torque of 200 newton meters and 2 liter engines, so it is much easier for it to work with 140 Cobalt engines. A mileage of 250,000 kilometers is quite achievable. The suspension is energy intensive and does not require intervention on good roads up to 100,000 kilometers. On bad roads the situation is different, rear shock absorbers and wheel bearings sometimes run out at 40 to 60,000 kilometers, ball and support bearings are also not particularly durable. The stabilizer struts and bushings become consumables, and the CV joint boots are quickly wiped. Power steering hoses crack and leak at 100,000 kilometers. There are no complaints about the service life of the brake system elements. The rear brakes are drum brakes, almost eternal. There is practically no sound insulation, external noises are actively accompanied by internal ones, hard plastic creaks and rattles. The fuel tank cap is opened with a key. Peeling door handles are the norm. Advantages and benefits of Chevrolet Cobalt since 2011. Harmonious image of a city car. The salon is spacious. Adjustment of the driver's seat. Comfortable grip on the steering wheel. The rear row seats can be folded, which allows you to transport long cargo. High ground clearance. Excellent glass washer. Informative mirrors. Full-size spare wheel. Weaknesses of the Chevrolet Cobalt since 2011. Assembly. Automatic transmission. Suspension arms. Valve cover gasket. Valve train chain. Anti-roll bar struts and bushings. Now more details. Assembly. The assembly of the car is an obvious flaw. You may notice water in the place where the spare tire is stored. The reason is poorly sealed cracks behind the rear bumper. A sealant will help fix the problem. All seams must be treated with the product. Headlights are another sore point of the sedan. Over time, they begin to fog up. Solving this problem is extremely difficult. As practice shows, all the methods that drivers try are not effective. The disadvantage of automatic transmission is its poor tolerance to slipping. If you regularly race this car, the unit will quickly fail. A sudden start at a traffic light will also have a negative impact on his work. A gentle ride and careful handling will help avoid this. Many drivers recommend warming up the transmission, especially during the cold season. Automatic transmission solenoids. This problem can also be found on many Chevrolet Cobalt cars. Signs of damage to the solenoid, solenoid valve, are, the car does not move in any gear and when moving the gear shift lever there is no characteristic push to engage the gear. Most likely, if the automatic transmission solenoids are faulty, you will not be able to sell the car, but you need to know about this in the future. Suspension arms. Unfortunately, the Cobalt suspension arms are really problematic. And in this case there is no escape. This happens mainly during sudden impacts, in the event of hitting various obstacles in the form of bumps or holes at high speed. But during a test run before purchasing, it is difficult not to notice this malfunction. The car becomes difficult to drive, and on the spot you need to pay attention to tire wear. If the inner edge is worn, this gives an indirect indication that the lever is damaged. 
valve cover gasket. Of course, we can say that this is, in principle, a trifle and has virtually no effect on the oil level in the engine, but constant oil leaks from under the valve cover also affect the disruption of heat exchange and the possible process of spontaneous combustion and the service life of some electrical elements. Therefore, when purchasing, you need to inquire whether the gasket was replaced with a non-original one and make sure that there are no oil leaks from under the cover. Valve Train Chain Considering that the Chevrolet Cobalt is no longer produced and supplied to domestic markets, the mileage of many cars is already over 100,000 kilometers. And accordingly, when purchasing, you need to pay attention to the condition of the timing chain. If the chain was not changed by the previous owner, then replacement will cost about 20,000 rubles. In general, the timing chain on this car cannot be considered a weak point, but when buying it, you should definitely pay attention to it. Anti-roll bar struts and bushings. It can be immediately noted that these elements are not critical faults in the event of their failure. Also, replacing them is not such an expensive operation, and besides, the stabilizer struts and bushings are consumables. These elements can be classified as weak points due to their rapid wear. Therefore, when purchasing, you need to pay attention to the condition of the racks and bushings. It can be determined indirectly, both when driving by the characteristic knocks of the suspension, and on the spot when rocking the car to the sides. Disadvantages of the second-generation Chevrolet Cobalt Increased fuel consumption Crickets in the cabin Frequent fogging of headlights Poor quality treatment of seams at the junction of the trunk and rear bumper, water ingress Weak engine Rigid suspension Poor quality plastic in the interior Expensive to maintain Bottom line in conclusion, we can say and recall that every car has frequent breakdowns and shortcomings. The main thing is that these problems do not result in a huge waste of money to eliminate them. Accordingly, before purchasing, you need to weigh the pros and cons, and when purchasing a car, it is best to have it diagnosed and examined by professionals in this matter.